I just made a huge mistake and now I'm paying for it. And that woman paid thousands of dollars to who she thought was a surgeon for a procedure she hoped would change her life. Well, it did, but in the worst possible way ever. Fighting back tears, Brittany Rowe is speaking out for the first time about a dangerous procedure that is still causing her massive health issues. It all started back in October of 2016. And someone told me about her, said she's good, you should see her told me she does like Botox and bum injections. She being this woman, Anna Yukabowski Rosetson, who claimed to be a surgeon specializing in cosmetic injections. Brittany was just 22 when she met her and in a bad place. Just giving birth, was really skinny, just depressed, going through a lot. You know, you kind of just want to give yourself a little boost of confidence. So she decided to pay Yukabowski Rosetson three grand for a butt lift. Little did she know, the woman was a nurse, not a surgeon, and she was using substances she found on the black market, not allowed legally in Canada. Instead, Brittany was injected with silicone and mineral oil, which is dangerous and potentially deadly. In fact, 23-year-old Chanel Stebbin, another client of Yukabovsky Rosetson, died from the procedure. She passed away a month after my surgery. Yukabovsky Rosetson was arrested, pled guilty, and is serving six years in prison. But Brittany, one of the seven victims named in court, is still dealing with immense pain. My body is rejecting this foreign substance that's in there, and it's making me physically sick. I can feel it going through my body. I can feel it's moved into my leg. It's moved into the like my lower back. She now needs surgery to get rid of the silicone. Problem is, no surgeon in Canada will do it. In Canada, no one's willing to help. They're too scared. Her only hope, a surgeon in the U.S. who has agreed to take on her case. But the cost is 50 grand U.S., money this mother of three does not have. There's no help here. Like, the whole country is literally just refusing to help. It's like having a heart attack and going to the hospital and they can't help you. I just worry, like, one day I'm gonna go to sleep and not wake up and my kids are gonna wake up to a dead mom like with chanel it went in her brain and her lungs it's already migrated through me how much more you know who knows what it's doing it's moving around it's doing something if i don't get it out it's gonna keep doing that her friends have started a gofundme page but she's also speaking out in hopes a surgeon here in canada can help just to help she also wants to warn others it's not a joke you know, I get everyone wants to feel better, look better, me too. But now it's literally costed me my life. Pat Taney, City News.